It's a commonly known fact that the most beloved animal on the planet Earth is none other than the shrew bill stork. Hailing from Africa and standing at over 5 feet tall, I for one don't see how anyone could dislike such a remarkable creature. Believe it or not, the Australian voiceover makes a pretty good point. After all, what type of people would hate such a wonderful bird? The answer, if it isn't obvious, is very, very bad people. More specifically, a team known as the Pirates, who not only spread their bird-hating ways, but also happen to be my biggest rivals. Are those two things related? Uh, abso freaking lootly. So to bring justice to all the shoebill storks in the world, it's time to finally fight back and make these pirates rue the day they decided to cross the bird community. In case you couldn't tell, I'm running out of ideas. With this only being a first attack against the pirates, I decided to try a more symbolic way of revenge. Like, you know, just throwing this idea out there, I don't know. Building a giant shoebill stork right in their front door? Anyone? Alright, well I didn't hear anyone say no. But anyways, you may not believe me, but building a giant bird on someone's base is actually surprisingly difficult. Especially when none of them want you there. But before anything, to pull off this project, I need a bit of an unexpected item. Frames! See, on this server, we have a plugin that lets us put custom images using item frame. But if I want this build to be even slightly noticeable, I'm gonna need a lot of item frames, which need a lot of leather, which need a ton of cows, which I happen to have none of. So how does one lone person get a lot of cows really fast? Thievery! Coincidentally, however, the pirates are the only players on the server with an active cow farm. But stealing cows is a lot of work, so you know it's a bit easier. Stealing the whole base! How do you steal the whole base? Well, it's not my first time doing it this season, so I'm glad you asked. In this case, it's as simple as getting your pals, walking on in, then telling the previous owners that it's not theirs anymore. By the looks of it, none of them really showed up to even stop us. So just like that, my team is now in control of the pirate island. Which not only makes it a little easier to build on the island, but also hopefully scares some of the pirates from even wanting to show up. Now with the fabled cow farm under our command, it was time to start getting... Leather. That sure is awkward. Here I am going through all this effort of occupying a base for some cows and turns out there's like five of them. And while I could wait for the cows to breed, I also really can. See, the only reason I'm able to be at the pirate base for this long without dying is because it's Saturday. What's so special about Saturday? Well, Saturday is movie night. Nobody wants it, why we put it back? Wait, I thought we <laughs> soul. Bro, put it back. <laughs> Might as well take away soul if that- No! 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 You have to be Which happens to be when pirate team member Jumper Who screen shares a random movie for most of the server to watch. Which means, people, that I have 2 hours and 11 minutes of absolutely zero pirate resistance. Which is when I remember that a player named Spongs built a giant dripstone trap in an attempt to kill the pirate leader, Jaden and within that trap, he used item frames to prevent pearling. But if it's left completely unharmed, it means I could probably get myself enough item frames to build this thing before anyone even notices. Let's go. Okay, there is a dripstone trap full of item frames right here. It is just asking to be taken. Please still be intact. Please still be intact. Yes! I just hope it's enough, because if it's not, then we're kind of screwed because we don't have much time. What kind of doofus would put this much time into a trap, though? Because, I mean, someone before me clearly had to harvest all the leather for these item frames. You'd probably have to be the dumbest, worst Minecraft player to build this kind of trap. Anyways, that looks like it's all the item frames. So with a jackpot secured, all it meant was putting up this bird on display for the pirate world to see. With about 9 stacks of item frames, it meant that we could make a 24 by 24 picture of a shoebill stork. But in the time it took me to gather the item frames, it meant that by now, there was a possibility I could get caught in the act. So as I began to build the platform, all I could do was hope that the faith from all the shoebill storks in the world would be enough for me to finish on time. Spoiler alert, it was! Building the frame was relatively simple since I happened to have tons of blocks lying around, most of which weren't my own. But with that said, it was now finally time to place down my masterpiece. Here we go. After all this time. It's beautiful. It's perfect! I couldn't have asked for a better thing, and right on time too. Right on time indeed, since the pirates were just now coming back, and now is my chance to prove to them that shoebill storks will always be the best. So as I got the rest of the island decorated with my team's signature, the pirates finally arrived to see what had happened. Wait, what happened? All of them? Yes! Okay. Oh my god, what is that?! Ew! <laughs> Bro, Caleb, the whole thing oh is- Oh my god, what the heck? What do you think? What do you think? 
Just like that, the pirates and their allies were in absolute shambles. With movie night now ruined, I made my departure. That is, until I learned of the gruesome fate of the shoebill store. As soon as I left, Jumper shot it with a crossbow, destroying it forever. And I knew that if I really wanted to truly send a message about shoebill storks, I needed to start doing this on an international scale. So I gathered my fellow marines, we headed to spawn, and prepared to spread the message of the shoebill stork like no one else in Minecraft history ever had before. Anyways guys, after today, I just want you to know, I just want everyone to know that I've never been more happy to be your admiral. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> all of these, you see all of these? They gotta go. No, oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Goodbye everyone. Oh, yeah. Yo, what am I holding? What are you, <laughs> what's that one? <laughs> Why are we diving for it? <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. How big are these? There's, um, like, yes. Yes. Wait. Um. Is it this one? Oh. Wait. <laughs> okay. Wait. Yeah. Over here. Oh shit. Yeah. Yo. Only oh. said he wanted positivity. It doesn't this get more positive. This is the definition than of positivity. Wait. But, wait. I'm so wrong. excited. Yeah! Oh my god! Yeah. Yo! We're actually sending a message. Wait, wait. This... Yeah. Oh, okay. Another classic 4x4. Alright, hold on. I think I have something. <laughs> oh, yo, that's tough. Yo, that is cold. Did we just win? Like, yeah. is, that the end of, is that the end of the arc? Yeah, I think we won. What did I just say? Calm down! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> yes! Yo! That's tough, isn't it? The whole... This is awesome. Can, can this we get this image and like put our Minecraft skins on? on the, <laughs> the headset? Yes, but this is us. Uh, like that. That's me protecting, that's me protecting everyone. We got Falcon News number two. We got Baby Kiang. <laughs> joining the team. Let and then the smallest one is new. In the end, we succeeded in spreading Stork supremacy, and as a bit of a bonus, the leader of the pirates fled all the way to Hawaii. Was it because of the Storks? I like to think so. I mean, alternatively, he could just be losing subscribers so fast that he just might need a vacation from it all, you know what I mean? At least, that was until he started trying to leave Hawaii early? Like, Brody's saying he needs a rescue mission from this. But pirates being insane doesn't end there, because then you have another pirate named Emma complaining about her god-tier internet when it's literally three times better than my own. You know, sometimes I just can't with these pirates. But I think these stork renovations are a good first step to restoring the status of shoebill storks. But in other news, the video is 8 minutes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my leave. I'll, I'll catch y'all later. Bye, thank you, bye.